Alright, survivors, welcome back to Rimworld and the Colony of Punchwood. We are picking up just about where we left off in the last episode, though I have done some off-camera work, but nothing exciting. You didn't miss much. Mostly just manual labor tasks. It is now March 9th, 8.15 in the morning, so everybody's getting up, although Nora is now going to bed. Um, although we did actually get attacked by a uh, bloody, bloody monkey pirate right here. Strike the hunter. It was a very brief raid. We took him down quickly, and he's currently on the ground, naked, bleeding out in the chicken coop area. And uh, I hope they're not carnivorous, those chickens, as you never can tell. Um, you know what, Joy? Why don't you go and do the, the right thing here? Let's capture Strike. We'll put him in prison. I was going to let him bleed out there as a, uh, as a warning to all bloody, bloody monkeys. But you know what? We'll do the humanitarian thing, and we'll heal up his wounds, and then we'll send him off on his way. I do not want to recruit that guy because he's a slouch. He's, a, he's an absolute bum. So we're going to send him off. Anyway, let's, um, let's get back to work. So what I'd like to do is move my chickens out of this area and uh, use this as a chicken coop, at least for the female chickens. Because I want to separate the men from the ladies, because we're getting fertilized eggs, which are great because they'll hatch into more chickens, and we can sell them, apparently, and also eat them. But um, I want unfertilized eggs so that we can make meals out of them. So that's one thing we're going to do today. And the other thing today, which we're going to do that's super exciting, is find out what is behind this wall. So if you recall from a couple of days ago, or a few episodes ago, Riddle, I think it was, was working down in this area, maybe chopping trees, and she had a very uneasy feeling, some kind of ancient presence um, in that area. That's what she felt anyway. So we're going to go find out what that is, but we want to be prepared for that just in case. You just never know what we're going to find. All these ancient civilizations and aliens is out here. Now, before we do that, though, I did want to do this. Uh, I want to make a couple of new areas for the chickenses, and I'll tell you why. Let's go ahead and make a new animal area first, and we're going to call this the Hen Coop. And the Hen Coop is going to be an inside area. Inside this uh, lovely pre-made building here that we found when we landed. Um, we have to put a door up here, I think, so that we can get it closed up. Where's my structures? Let's put a wooden door right here. We can leave that open, by the way. We can force it to stay open so the chickens can come and go. Because I don't think the chickens can open doors. <laughs> don't underestimate the chickens, my friends. Not the spy chickens, anyway. They seem all innocent and dumb, but they're not. Trust me. But we want them inside. I'm just going to put a few random sleeping spots inside here. In the event there's lightning storms or pirate raids, etc., so we're going to give them um, a nice, cozy, safe, warm spot to go into and also to lay their eggs and grow more chickenses. Um, and we want to separate them from, from the boys. The boys and the girls are going to get separated. So let's go ahead and now send... Actually, I want to make one more... I want to make one more animal area. Let's go and do that here. New animal area. That's the hen coop, the indoor area. And now I want to call make a new one, we'll call this the hen pen. And this is where they will graze and walk around and just chillax through the day um, and eat and so forth. Whoops, no, 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 I want the hen pen. So the hen pen is going to be... It will in, include the, the, the coop. We have to do that so that they go in there without my manipulation. And we're going to allow them to graze. They will eat all this natural grass, this natural occurring grass here. So... Let's make sure we get that in the pen area. Oh, I love that color. It's perfect for female chickens. There we go. They'll be free range chickens and they can just kind of roam around here and eat all that grass. That should be enough. If not, we can expand that out. Let's do like this. There we go. Make it even, even, even Steven. Okay, that looked good. Okay, and now all we have to do, oh, it's getting dark already, is send the hens up there. So we go to animals and we go to hens. Get to the hen pen, you stinking hens. And we'll leave the boys out of it. The roosters are going to get their own pen. Oh, look at this one. She's already up there. She flew. Well, not really. She ran fast. There they go. Chicken migration. So net right now, 
Some of these chickens are still fertilized, so they're gonna lay fertilized eggs, and we don't really want that. Fertilized eggs can't be eaten, but they will grow to new chickens, so we want both fertilized and unfertilized. So we will let the boys and the girls mingle occasionally so that we can get fertilized eggs too. And you know what else I want to do is put in here, um, let's put a little stockpile. Just a small little thing. Gonna clear it all and then put preferred and make this the place to lay the chicken eggs. Whoops, raw foods. Raw foods. Animal products, that's what that is. Uh, fertilized eggs. Uh, just the chicken eggs, please. The chickens aren't going to want to sit on cobra eggs or iguana eggs or tortoise, tortoise eggs. Although maybe they will. Maybe they will, I don't know. But anyway, for right now, we just want our own chicken eggs in there. And then these will hatch, hopefully. Alright, let me just make up this final chicken area here. And we will just delete the chicken coop one. We're just going to make one for the boys right now, because I don't have a, a safe coop for them just yet. And we'll call this the rooster pen. And we will now expand that. I'm going to put it over here. So I already have this area laid out for them, which will be the coop. Once we get some enough... Oh, what's going on? It's getting real windy and rainy. Um, so we'll make an interior spot for them eventually. And then they can graze over there too. Let's go ahead to the to the boys. Rooster pen, rooster pen, rooster pen, rooster pen, and rooster pen. There we go. So they'll when they wake up, they'll head on over there. Um, you know what I need to do is make sure we have the eggs out of here. The fert eggs, anyway. Unfertilized eggs we can eat. They can go in the in the freezer, but not the ferts. And because I set this one up as the preferred, nor is already bringing those fertilized eggs back to the to the to the coop so they can hatch <laughs> no one's made that door yet for me what the heck okay so we're working on the uh, warehouse here as well I want to get all of this material under a roof so that it doesn't degrade all right guys it's now seven o'clock in the morning and everyone's getting up having some breakfast punchwood's hunting and we're getting ready for another day of work here in the uh, rainy thunderstorm. And I think what we might do right now is have someone release Strike. Forget about this guy. Let's get rid of him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lightning Strike. Just don't say that word. All right, let's let him go. Somebody get him out of here, please. Escort Strike out. We don't want to waste any more resources on him. We're not going to try to recruit him, so... Whoa! Oh, we can try... <laughs> Lightning Strike. Lightning almost struck Strike. All right, somebody is going to go release him. Peggy's going to have uh, a little quick game of horseshoes here in the rain. That's smart. And I think what we might do is test out our... Uh, let's have a fire drill. Let's test out our animal emergency services. And let's get the girls inside the coop. So they don't get zapped. They're too much too precious right now. <laughs> Come on, girls. Get inside. Go, 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 go. Lay an egg and run. You know, you could lay the eggs on the inside, you ding-dongs. There we go. Nice and safe inside the coop. That's what I like. The roosters are like, where's all the ladies at? All right. Anyway, here goes Riddle. Escorting Strike outside. Send him on his way. Now, can he walk on his own? Oh, yes, he can. He's fine. Goodbye, Strike of the Bloody Bloody Monkeys. Go back and tell everyone that we were very nice and kind to you. We bound his wounds. We gave him some food. And maybe the Bloody Bloody Monkeys will change their opinions of us. We'll see. Alright, I'm just waiting for this uh, storm to stop, and then we're gonna go over here and blast through this wall and see what's on the other side. We'll see what lies beyond. Oh! You guys. It's getting nasty out. Alright, well, all of our stock here is now under roof. That's great, so it won't degrade any longer from the elements. We will expand it out here eventually. And I think what we might do, guys, is get our hospital set up over here. We should probably do that. Oh! Pneumatic picks! We got it! Miner's picks are 20% more effective. Yay! Our research is complete. Hold on. Just pause for one second here. I would like to choose a new research project. And there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, we need all of it, but I think 
to begin with, I want carpet making. I want, I want lovely carpets on the insides of our apartments and everywhere else because we don't have the wood to make wood floors. Um, oh no, you just failed your training. That's too bad. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking we could do, we could use carpets, some carpets down. But those pneumatic picks are going to allow us to do some mining faster. We can get some limestone too. Oh, you know what? I had this bed uninstalled. This is the medical bed. Let's get it in here. We might need it. Whoa! Fire! Fire! Fire in the house! Where was that? Where was it? Oh, right here. Oh my gosh, it's right on the uh, conduit. Somebody put that out. Nora, get up! Get up! Priority! Priority! Oh, Punchwood has the priority. He's coming. Never mind. Joy's coming too. Put out the fire. Punchwood, didn't I tell you to take that hat off? I could have sworn I told him to take it off. The Tukey hates it. And he picked it back up again. Wearing worn-out apparel. <laughs> There's something we can do with that. We can tell him to only pick up nice clothes. But fine, if he likes a toque, then keep it on. Just stop complaining about it. What a baby. He's such a big baby for an assassin. Here we go. Riddle's going to put our new hospital bed in our new hospital. And then, uh, you know what, let's make another one too. We should probably get two beds in here. Two hospital hus beds. Just in case uh, there's something nasty beyond this wall. And we get hurt and we need some, somebody needs medical attention. We'll have two beds ready to go. And I'll set that one as medical. Let's get a light in here, shall we? Uh, that would be under furniture. Oops, I always do that, always do that. Let's put it here in the corner. So we'll have our own hospital, awesome. Now, the hospital needs to be st kept sterile with a nice, clean floor. Unfortunately, we don't have the materials again to make a floor, but we will eventually. And we can put in some kind of... Um, hold on, where is it? There is... Oh, here it is, a vitals monitor. We don't have the metal right now, but the vitals monitor is going to increase patient's treatment quality. It needs to be placed adjacent to the medical bed. Okay, awesome. We just need a little more metal, um, metal for that. What happened to all our metal? Oh, there we go. We're hauling some now. I know we'd, we'd mine some. It's down here. Oh, this rainstorm's a real killer. Can somebody grab this stuff? I know it's garbage. There we go. What we need next also is a communications console. I don't want to put that down here once we make walls. How much wood do we have? Eh, not enough. Man, so hard to build in this uh, arid shrubland area. And the trees don't grow back, and the oak trees that we are, we're growing here are super slow to grow. Did I give you guys? Oh, I didn't give you any sleeping areas. I'm sorry. We better do that right now. Foin at you. Animal sleeping spots. One, two, three, four... Five, six rooster sleeping spots. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Forgot about it. We'll wait for morning, wait for the storm to go away, and then we'll, um... We're gonna go gamble. We're gonna take a chance here. We're gonna roll the dice and maybe find something awesome inside. There will be an open space in here, and it's gonna contain something. It's like opening Pandora's box. We just don't know. All right, guys, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. All the Punch Woodians are climbing out of their warm, dry, cozy beds to go to work in the rain. Yes, indeed, it's still raining, but at least the thunder and lightning has stopped, so it should be relatively safe to work outside. We're just going to get a little wet, so don't be babies about it, Joy. Joy's outside in the rain doing research. In fact, Joy, let's let the chickens out, please. Chickens are stuck in their coop right now because the door got built and nobody held it open for them. <laughs> and now that there's no lightning, the danger has passed. We can let the chickens out. They have to go eat and poop and all that stuff. So we're going to send Joy right in to open that. Whoops. Open the door, please. And that should stay open. There we go. Great. Your service is no longer needed. Go do what you do. And let's let the chickens out right now. Guys, go. Out, out, out. Go outside and get some fresh air. Awesome. So now they can roam freely in the pen um, area. 
So I'm not going to do that very often. We'll only have to lock them in their coop during times of uh, desperation and danger. <laughs> All right. So, hey, there goes the rain. Yay. Perfect. All right. So that gives us lots of time here. we got the whole day to blast through this wall and see what lies beyond. Who's up for it? Peggy. Go eat some breakfast. We're all going to do this together as one. We're going to get the guns ready just in case. And someone's going to blast the hole. And we'll see what happens. I would really like to get that done in this episode if possible. Oh, you failed at training the mutt, didn't you? Dang it. I thought you were good at this, Riddle. Uh, whatever. Now where are you going? Hauling wood. Okay. So, Peggy, Peggy, you done eating? All right, forget the wood. Everybody forget the wood. I'm drafting. Draft, draft, draft. People with guns. One, two, and three. Well, and bows. Peggy has a bow. I want the three of you over here with your weapons. We'll let Riddle go do whatever the heck she does. Nora has a knife. She's in bed. She works the night shift. We don't really need anyone with a blade. Come on, Peggy. Hurry it up. Haven't got all day. It's already 2 p.m. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. We got everyone set up outside. You might want to back up just a little, Punchwood. Actually, we're going to have Joy go and blast the hole. Um, and then she can back up. She's pretty quick. I think I have to undraft you for this. No, 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 no. Ready? And 3, 2, 1, deconstruct. Let's put her on priority. It's a steel wall. No problem with our new picks. Whoa! We're in! Oh my gosh, stop! Stop, stop, stop! She's running away! <laughs> area reveal! Look at all this awesome area, guys! We can move right in! But first, we have to deal with the ancient crypto sleep caskets. E gads. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Oh, mo oh no, oh no, 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 no. The Crypto Sleep Casket looks like it has been here for a long time. Who knows what it may contain. It's a casket, so my, my guess is dead bodies. And then we have this thing. What is this thing? A Psychic Sooth Pulsar. Ooh. Market value 1,000. Wow, we should just sell it. This makes people happy temporarily. So it's only a one-use artifact. Yeah, big deal. We are going to grab that, put it in our stockpile, and sell it. Oh, did I not pause the action? Oh, dear. I wanted to pause right here and think about what to do. Hmm. I'm not quite ready. I want to make a door. Let's make a steel door right here. So that way, if we open this up and some people, bad people, bad things pop out, we can just close the door and lock it and at least, I don't know, back up. Because they'll probably break through eventually, but it will be hard. Who's going to make that door? All right. I need someone to prioritize building the door, please. And the rain's back. Let's wait for the door to get built. And then we're going to open up these caskets and see what's inside. I don't want to... I don't want you guys to have to wait. That would be a horrible cliffhanger. And I, I know that would cause some serious hate. So we'll do it here. But first I want to get that door done. Alright, Punchwood is making the door. And I've got Joy and Peggy heading over here with their weapons. And Punchwood... Where are you going?! He's going to haul the Psychic Sooth. No, you're not. Get out right now. Get out right now. So there is a roof here now that we put the door on. And we are going to use all this space, hopefully, if we survive this anyway. <laughs> is everybody ready? I want you to back up since you're so slow. Um, Who's fast? I think Nora's like super fast, isn't she? Let me check her. Jogger. Yeah, Nora. Come here. Now that it's nighttime, we can get Nora to do this. Nora! Come here. I've got a job for you. She's like, are you crazy? It's okay, just go in, open it up. And then run out, okay? <laughs> and get someone close to that door in case we have to lock it. Well, she can lock it on the way out. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. On three, two, one, open. Oh my gosh, an eclipse? We have an eclipse. Great, I don't care about the eclipse. Oh, I have to undraft her. There she goes, opening it up. And three, two, one, open, 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 and then run, girl, run! Oh my gosh, Nora, run. Where are you going? Draft. Get out of there. What is it? It's people and bugs. 
Go, get out. Go, 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 go. Run. Who's this person? Hold up, hold up. Stop. Let's take a look. As long as Nora gets out, we've got Ryu, a fabulist. Male space soldier. He's running. He's got a pistol. Oh, nice. Who's this person? Riley. She's got an LM a light machine gun, but she's in shock and she's on the ground. Not good. Sullivan, the barkeep, is dead. Oh, that's too bad. We could use a barkeep. Mags. Oh, Mags from the Hunger Games is also dead. Uh, Spacer. Okay. And then this person, the artist, is dead. Locke, the chef, is a male slave incapacitated. Oh, we have to help these people. Um, how can we try to arrest? Oh, we can try to arrest him, but he's a soldier. He might not like it. Oh, man. All right, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to fall back. Oh, there's mega scarabs, too. These are beetles, like genetically engineered beetles. Yeah. Oh, man, are they fighting each other? Sound like it, unless they're eating the dead people. All right, get out, and then I want you to lock the door. I'm not letting this guy out either. No, 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 no. Lock the door. Um. Oh, wait. Actually. Oh, she just opened it right up. Can she do that? Not forbidden. Colonists may interact with this. All right, we'll just leave it like that. So it looks like the beetles are actually fighting one another. Oh, good. Oh, this one's berserk. They're berserk, some of them. Some are not. Oh, wow. The last two are fighting. Oh, these are incapacitated. They're downed. So we've got uh, one berserk beetle left. That one's in shock. And this one's... Uh-oh. All right, we got to get in there and help these people. We've got two uh, living humans, and we can't let them just die out. So we're going to have to get inside, which means we're going to have to take down that... Oh, wait, we can tame it. Except that it's broken. Yeah, we can't we can't tame that one because he's, he's just destroyed. Um, let's go in. Let's go in. Whoa. Punch would go. Is it going to attack us? It is. Yes. It's attacking us. Peggy, can you get in here and help? Oh, my gosh. Shoot the dang beetle, guys. Oh, no. Colonist needs treatment. Oh, it's tough. Shoot it. You missed. Oh, you got it. Okay. Whew. How you doing, Joy? Let's see. She's got a bite mark and a bite mark. She's okay. I'm going to send her back to go rest up. She'll be fine. Although she is our doctor, isn't she? What is this stuff? I know, I know, I know. She's going to head She's gonna head to our new hospital. That's awesome. All right, Nora, you are free to go. Um, everybody's free to go right now. So let's just think about what we're going to do. We'll probably throw these people in hospital beds. We're going to have to make another hospital bed, apparently. Shucks. Well, we can make this one a medical bed. And then we're going to get these folks inside. So let's do that right now. Rescue. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Peggy, wait, 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 wait. Rescue. Rescue lock. Why can't you do that? Set is non... Oh, set for colonists. Okay, there we go. Okay, try it now. Rescue. And then these guys, I guess we can tame these mega scarabs because they're they're hurt, but they're not broken. So maybe we can heal them up and tame mega scarabs, and maybe we can breed them and sell them or something. I don't know. Oh, that's awesome. That that wasn't too bad. Um, Nora, do you have any medical skill? Uh, not really. Riddle, I want you to go heal. Joy. All right, so now we're just going to get these people healed up. And uh, hopefully they'll join us. I don't know what's going to happen. Peggy's carrying... <laughs> Peggy's so slow. <laughs> Locke is going to die before they get there, probably. Is somebody throwing up? I don't know. All right, this is very exciting, but I think we're going to have to call it quits right now. And uh, we'll be back in the next episode to figure out what the heck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Peggy, you can do it. Rescue the slave. All right, so with that, folks, we're just going to call it a day, and we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.